Oh, oh, you're working over? Oh, okay. No, I'm straight. We're we'll just. Uh, I'm Mario. I'm Dave. I'm the investigator that's been up all night, just like you. So, man. You all right? Yes, sir. All right. I'm not the bad guy here. I don't take sides in anything. I just find out the facts, all right? Yes, sir. All right. All right. Mario, what is your middle name? Hmm? What is your middle name? Davian. How do you spell that? D-A-V-Y-O-N. Mm -hmm. D-A-V-Y-O-N? Okay. And now, who are you living with now? My grandma. Grandma? And who's grandma? Hmm? Who's grandma? What's your grandma's name? Bridget. Bridget? Mm hmm What's her last name? Davis. Hmm? Davis. Davis? And what address is that at? Is that over on Klondike? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the 781 Klondike? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, does Grandma have custody of you, or are you just staying with her, or you don't know? I, I, I think I think she, I just, I, I, my mom got custody. I just live okay. with my grandma. And is your mom's name Dolores? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Because I've never met you before, so I don't, I don't, you know, I don't, you know. So it's kind of the first time you and I are. And do you have a cell phone or anything? No, no cell phone. Okay. Are you supposed to be going to school? I go to school. Where you go to school at? AMI Kids Orlando. AMI. Mm -hmm. All right. What grade are you in now? Well, um, or are you going, going into? Yeah, I'm going into ninth. Ninth grade? Man. Getting good grades? I got like A's and B's. No kidding. That's awesome, man. Right. My last report card was, we only have six classes, so yeah. it, was three, it was one A, three B's, and two C's. That's pretty doggone good, man. It's pretty good. Are you playing any sports or anything? Football. Yeah. What, what position? Running back and linebacker. Yeah. Yes. Either way, you get hit, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, I was just a lineman. I was just a big, big, fat guy on the line. I played lineman, too. Yeah. But it's fun, though. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing about being defensive. Right? I got to hit people. So, yeah. What can I say? All right. Uh, now you've been arrested before, right? Yes, sir. And I think it was uh, when an officer shown arrested you last time. Shown? The uh, little blonde-haired officer. She's a lady. Yeah, she's the last. I one. like her. Yeah, and yeah, she's all right. She's all because, right because she's the only, the only police officer that's like stopped me multiple times yeah. and, and like, like try to redirect me. Yeah. And put me in my well, you know, not. There's always there's always good and there's always bad with whatever you do. You know what I mean? Sometimes you get bad cops that don't treat you right. Other times you don't. That officer, he was like throwing me over, bending me over, and jumping. And I was like, sir, I was like, I'm, I was like, you don't really have to do all that, yeah. sir. And then, like he kept still like yeah. doing that and stuff. But I just had to follow on. Because yeah, well I'll take care of that. So. All right. Well, have you ever been read your rights before? Like, like on TV? Like, do you have the right to remain silent all that other stuff? You never had that done before? Okay. Well, this is what I do. Isn't that, wasn't he, wasn't one of those officers supposed to tell me that? No, because uh, only if they ask you questions about what happened. Now, they can ask you questions about who you are and your name and your date of birth and all that stuff. Um, and they don't have to do that. But if they say, hey, Vamari, tell me about what happened last night, um, then, then they need to. And that's what I'm here for. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll make sure you understand them completely. Um, I'll tell them to you. If you want to talk to me, we can have a conversation about what happened because I believe there's two sides to every story. Um, at some point while we're talking, you say, Dave, I don't, I don't want to talk no more. There's no hard feelings at all. I, I don't know you. You don't know me. And, and, and that's the way I like it. There's no, there's no hard feelings between you and me. Okay. You said Mr. Dave, right? Dave, yep. Yep, yep. Um, all right. So with that being said, um, 
you do have the right to remain silent. It means you don't have to talk to me. Do you understand that? Yes. Sir. Okay. Anything you say to me can or will be used against you when it goes to court or in a court of law. Do you understand that? Yes. Sir. Okay. Um, if you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you without cost. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Means if obviously you don't have a job, I don't know if your mom has money or not. If you can't afford an attorney, somebody will appoint one um, to you without cost. Um, you have an attorney, a right to an attorney now or at any time during questioning. Do you understand that? So what that means is, is that um, if you want to talk to an attorney before you talk to me, I just they just take you down to the detention center without talking to me because obviously we can't get an attorney here right away um, um, if you do want to talk to me and then while we're talking you're like Dave yeah I think I'm I'm done I want an attorney they can say that again no hard feelings we're done okay so um, you understand you understand all that yes, sir. okay um, do you want to talk to me about what happened last night yes sir okay um, obviously I talked to how, how do you know him by his nickname? Does he have a nickname or is it just... I just know him by James. James. It doesn't seem like there's a beef. What's the What was the beef between you it's guys? It's not beef. He just been all week. He's been messing with me. And then, like, he, it's not messing with me. Like, he'll just punch me in my face. It'll be like like this type stuff. Like, mushing my head and stuff when he walking by. It's calling mm. me. Yeah, come in. Hello. Oh. Somebody knocked. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. So he's just kind of being a kind of being a an older pain in the butt. Yeah, okay. he always call me scary as a little boy and stuff. Now, how long have you known him? Like your whole your whole life? Mm -hmm. Oh, I met him a couple months ago. Somebody said he just got out of prison. Mm -hmm. Now, when did this first start happening? Yeah, like a month ago. No, I know. I heard that. Okay. Yeah. People can't believe they think I just killed this dude for no reason, bro. And you can try to kill him, shit, bro. It's crazy. Just making it like I just hurt the man for no reason. I don't do stuff like that for no reason, bro. Why would I do that for no reason? I'm just getting to know Amori. Mama's here. Told you I'd bring her back. Obviously, reasons we have to keep him in handcuffs. So. Um, what I told Mamari is, is that um, I don't know him. There's no hard feelings. Mm -hmm. um, I treat people with respect. Whatever, whatever happened, happened. Right. Um, you know, I did tell him, advise him of his rights. I made sure he understood that he didn't have to talk to me. Right. Um, but in order for me to get his side of the story and what it had, it started, what happened, you know, it's up to him if he wanted to tell me. And he said he did. Mm -hmm. um, we just prior to you getting here, I guess he said it, it had just started where James had start started just kind of picking on him a little bit. Yeah, I got people on the phone right now yeah. tonight. So many witnesses. Yeah, I, they're not with. Some of them are not. You know, I don't know who they questioned last night or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I have people witnesses that were there mm -hmm. that are willing to come and Absolutely. speak on my son's behalf Absolutely. because this was. I, I don't like how the news labeled him as a. a armed and dangerous child or whatever because this wasn't a senseless murder did this, they oh uh, i don't think well, i saw our yeah, news thing on west too we we put it on the news no i was gonna say i didn't see it just on, on the news they have him labeled as a, a 13 year old armed and yeah. dangerous kid and this and yeah. so that's why i took him into county because right. i didn't want it to be yeah. I didn't know who put that on there yeah because people you know because we didn't even we didn't even name him 
people come tell me that because these are juvenile first yeah. of all they was not supposed to name him and they was not yeah. even supposed to put no picture up of yeah. him because he ain't but 13. well but, you know what the news is they go and talk to people and they figure out who he is and then they go and do their own thing exactly and, yeah. So. Exactly, without permission and yeah. all that stuff, because they were supposed to get my permission yeah. for all well, that. But it doesn't matter. Well, what I'm I just do. saying, I do have, he has witnesses. Now, that's I, the boys that were there last night? Yeah. Yep, those. Okay. I ha also, yeah. I have people that been with him mm -hmm. for like the past two or three weeks while James has been consistently mm -hmm. Just, and just like I told you, like that's him. why there's two sides to every story. Exactly. So let's get past this, and then um, since it's a holiday, there's yeah. like nobody here. First thing tomorrow, let's get some people in here yeah. talking to me. Yeah. I don't want to listen to everybody. Yeah. I don't. I, like I told you, I don't take sides. Right. I, I'm facts. So right. I don't say, "Oh, you're bad. You did this." People, it's facts. Right. Their side, his side. So. Hey, I'm in the police station. I got to call you back. Now, is Vamari living on contact now? Or is he staying with you? Or back and forth between grandma He's and... He's back with him. Okay. All right. Now, do you have custody or is Bridget? I have custody. Okay. All right. And that's important for mm -hmm. JC. Yeah, I have custody of him, but she is on his face sheet and stuff at JBC. So, do you have her number handy? Um, four seven. You know what? Oh. Three four seven. Five nine four nine. Five nine four nine. Mm -hmm. I'm old. I'm hard of hearing. Um, so let's go back to to what we were talking about. That you know, he's been he's been kind of uh, started out with I guess flicking your head and walking by. But how long ago did this start? Like a month ago. Okay. Now, how did you meet him? Just from being hanging, everybody hanging around. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you thought he may have he may have been in prison before, or just got he out of prison? He, he just got out of prison. Somebody told me he was in prison. He just got out of prison. He just got out of prison. His auntie works with the bondsman. She done helped bond him out so mm -hmm. many times, like. He's been to prison and been to jail, all that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now, when was the most recent, prior to what happened last night, when was the most recent incident that Yesterday you guys... Yesterday before it happened, earlier. Was it over in the park? Mm -hmm. Okay, so over by Xander's Park? Yes, sir. All right, what happened there? He walked, he walked by, and then he, he bumped me, and then he tried to fight my brother, too. And he uh, told my brother... Daniel? Yeah, uh -huh. okay. He told my brother to stand in the middle of the road, and then my brother, my brother was about to, and then, and then my brother just stepped back. Okay. Is Emmanuel gonna call, come talk to me tomorrow? Uh huh. Okay. Emmanuel out there now though. Mm -hmm. He might get just um, cause he, I think he had something to do. Tomorrow. I can do that. I you can might talk, talk with him That's today. Fine. Like I said, I want to talk with him. got a performance or something tomorrow. Uh, okay. Me. All right. Um, now, it was you and your brother were at the park. What? Who was at with uh, James at the time at the park? Was there anybody with him? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, at the day during the park, um, then after that, was there any other time prior to this? So, so you have the time. After yesterday. Yeah, after the park, and then the incident itself. Was there anything between that or? Yeah. Yes. Like last night. Okay. I was walking from my um my homeboy on his shirt. I was walking from his girlfriend's house, cause that's my like I call her my sister. Okay. So I was walking from his house, I mean her house, and then I saw him. And I, 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 I ran back and I grabbed my phone so if anything happened, I could call my mom because mm -hmm. I had left my phone in her house. But I was going to just leave it till in the morning. But then I was like, no, I need to get it in case something happened. I could call my mom. Okay. And then that's when I came, was when I got my phone. He came. I, I came back and then I saw I saw my home, two of my three of my homeboys, mm -hmm. two of them. Mm -hmm. And then that's when we they asked me to walk with them to 7-Eleven, and we walked to 7-Eleven, 
and he was walking by us, and he was like, shun, he was like, scary ass little boy, and then that's when I was like, bro, I was like, you gonna stop messing with me, bro, and then we went to 7-Eleven, I came out of 7-Eleven, and as I looked down the road, I could see him coming back with two more people. Okay. So I'm like, I'm like, whoa. I'm like, what he, what he went to go get two more people for? So I'm walking. And then they came behind us. And then they just started talking and stuff. So I got in front of, I was scared. So I walked in front of everybody. And I was mm -hmm. just walking in front of everybody. But like, I was looking on the corner of my eyes, making sure nobody don't do nothing. And then okay. that's when he, I, I saw, I turned around. And he was running up. And then he. It, she had something in her hand like a knife or something but I don't know if it was a knife but it was point pointy like she could stab me with it and then and then he he was running up on me trying to grab me and he dropped the gun and then I picked it up and then I shot it I dropped it and ran so you're saying he came at you with a gun mm-hmm and I dropped it and I ran How close do you think you were to him when the gun went off? From where mom and you are or closer? Farther. A little further. Okay. No. Probably like from here, probably a little over like to the light. The light okay. Thing. About 10 feet maybe? Mm -hmm. Roughly. All right. What kind of gun was it? Mm -hmm. It was big, small, dark. I know it was dark. And so you say after the gun went off, you dropped it. Mm-hmm. And I ran. Which way did you run? I ran straight. Back towards Seven Eleven, or back towards. Like. Uh, by the park or towards the rec center like it was it, the road it's a straight road mm -hmm. so I ran straight and then I made a way by my I made a way to find I made a way to find my find some my, one of my family members house okay. and I found my auntie house okay who's your auntie Mm. Who's your auntie? Gloria. Gloria? Gloria. Gloria. Oh, Glow. Mm -hmm. Oh, Glow. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. She I know. I know. I know. Glow. I know you and May. I know. Because mm -hmm. I, I work Mar Mar Marvin's case. Yeah. So. Obviously your story and their story don't match again I'm just being honest with you telling you what their facts are and now what your facts are um, so that's why it's important to have witnesses come in um, and talk to me because they're claiming that you had the gun the whole time you came up with the gun and so if you check the 7-eleven camera yeah I have you on the camera um, but you can't you can't I mean, who knows? It could be in your pocket. I mean, it also, works, though, so. I mean, I'm just putting stuff out there yeah. that I know or I've been told. They telling me that this girl has video of what happened, and she's not telling y'all this because in the video it will show him clearly lunging at my son. Okay. And I've been told this by multiple people. You know, they don't wish for their names to be brought up, but I'm telling it so just in case, you know, that it's important for this case to know that this girl most likely has some video of, okay. and they said that she's not, um, the reason that she's not, uh, she didn't tell y'all, that was her name or whatever, whoever that was there. They said mm -hmm. she was videotaping, they said she has videotape that clearly shows, um, Every, everything that happened last night so okay. I just want y'all to know that okay. so it can be mm -hmm. uh, put out there that it's possible video maybe not of the shooting but it's possible video of 
You know what I'm saying? Right. What what happened or what what went on or whatever. So. Right. Okay. Well, I this, just, is, this is where it comes down to your witnesses. Who was with you? Exactly. Who who was with you? Tell them to with you. Mm -hmm. He had walked off by that time? Okay. But the first time when you told the boy to leave you alone, <laughs> because the incident... When I said that, I was the only one with me. Well, that wasn't with me. Okay, well, I need to be down there too, because this incident... I'm in the interrogation room. I'll call you back. All right. Either way, I'll talk to you. How's that sound? Be, okay. Yeah, because of yeah. the simple fact, what happened, like, from what I'm understanding, Lamar went to the store first and right. and <coughs> came back or whatever. On the way to him going to the store, they're saying James and James was coming back from 7-Eleven. Right. Say he walked by Lamar and said, scary ass jit or yeah. something like that. And Lamar was like, bro, leave me alone. I'm asking you nice to like, stop bothering me. So when I done went to the store, coming back from the store, you come with two other people and meet up with him and then turn around and start following them. Okay. So like, what was on your mind, James? You know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm like, you know, I told them they know me. Even the police, some of them know me. I don't defend my kids when they're in the wrong. Mm -hmm. But I work a lot. Yeah. No. But from from the different stories that I've been hearing from multiple different people of different backgrounds and everything they have no reason to just lie right. and most of these people are telling me that it been ongoing like James yeah. has consistently been bothered. one boy told me this morning he said when I saw it on the news he said I just dropped my head he said because I don't even know this dude I was going to the corner store this morning right. and the dude stopped me he was like I asked that boy three different times to leave your son alone. Okay. So I was like, why nobody ain't come tell me what was going on? Because yeah. I could have even, if I could, I could have, I know James. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I never had an issue with him or nothing. I could have talked to him. Even if he didn't listen to me, I could have at least came up here yeah. and put some things on paperwork or yeah. whatever, yeah. stating yeah. that. It been going, but I'm glad that it's been so many people that has witnessed that this boy was yeah. really bullying Vermont. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like it literally, if he's 25 and Vermont 13, that's obviously considered bullying. Right. Cause he is 25 years old. Yeah. You are overgrown. This is a 13 year old child, regardless of what. He is a 13 year old child. You are a 25 year old adult. I'm in the interrogation room. So and I'll call you back. you're walking away from. Him. He's behind you, and uh, you're kind of like rubbernecking, making I'm sure like nobody's, nobody's coming yeah. up behind you. Yeah. yeah. So he comes up behind you, and does he say anything when he runs up behind you, or or you just automatically know you he's coming see, up on yeah, you? Yeah. Turn and like on the corner and see him running up, and I turned around and he was like like reaching for me. Okay. Where did the gun fall out from? Mm -hmm. Probably right here. In his front waist. Don't or? don't right. don't yeah. don't make I'm, no assumptions. I'm, I'm you feel right. what I'm saying? Uh, I, he doesn't know. I want you to. If you don't know where it fell from, know. you just know it fell. You said it when it. No, when it's on the ground, where was it on the ground when you saw it? What you mean? The gun. You saying when you ran when he ran towards you or whatever, the gun fell. Where did it fall at? In front of him or? In front of him and in front of me. All right. So you pick up the gun and then what happens? I shot it. But I didn't even, I swear I didn't even think he got shot because like, I thought it was just the, the gun sound that made him like this. Yeah. Like, he went like that, like it was loud. And, and then you were kind of like, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. And then you were in. You were wearing red shirt last night, like you were on the video at 7-Eleven and all that. Okay, I just want to make sure I had the right video. I mean, I recognized your picture from the video, but I just want to make sure. So, um, all right. Well, let's get this behind us. We're behind us. Everybody's safe. Mm -hmm. 
And I turned my son in for the simple fact that, like, and I was getting text messages. We getting, we were getting text messages with threats and everything. The police don't get me before y'all. And then they talk about, oh, the y'all better get him before the pope before we do. Or then I heard some things this morning. My son's dad called me. He stayed way across town. Yeah. He called me like the Lord's be careful. I'm like, for what? He say they know where you work at and all this stuff and we get in threats that what they gonna do to you what they gonna do to man you my, my son and i'm I like make sure i call them and tell them to knock off whatever they're doing i'm like you know whatever going on or whatever mm -hmm. somebody need to talk to mm -hmm. somebody come bro i wasn't involved in nothing and i don't got nothing to do with nothing but yeah. i got a two-year-old daughter a three-year-old daughter that i will protect with every yeah. inch of me you understand yeah, nice. and i'm not gonna let nobody come to my home to my place of of employment or nothing and mess nothing up for me no, and I, I don't condone if you couldn't stop your son from being a bully then I don't think you need to be trying to do the same thing to me you see what I'm saying yeah. because if evidently if what I'm hearing is true and y'all finna do this to me then it's obvious what your son was doing to my son yeah. and that's how I feel about it I got you because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not no bully type yeah. person or none of that. I'm, I don't even have a record like yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I'm not into all that kind of stuff. I work, yeah. I come home. I try to keep them out the streets and stuff like that there. But they hang with their friends and stuff like that there. And, you know, teenagers going to be you teenagers. But this boy sense. was 25. And I done had too many people tell me that they asked this boy, Dang, why you keep messing with the jig? Why you keep bothering the jig? Okay. Why you keep messing with him? Why you keep I, messing I with him? I will always tell this man, if if you do want somebody to fight me, go get one of your cousin that's my age or something. Yeah. That's me. What we're going to do is obviously he's going to go to JC. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to talk to Emmanuel next. Did he ride up here with you? Mm -hmm. Okay. He ride up let's see if you just hang out with him for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. He Obviously, he's got to go back, but, um, <clears throat> you know. Will he, will he go to when will he see his first appearance you know what? i'm not a juvenile guy so i don't really know i would imagine they make it pretty quick i mean i mean are they still going to charge him with first degree murder or whatever because first degree murder is premeditated and this was nothing premeditated well that's what when i when i first got this case and all the witnesses um that's what i mean that's what they were stating so that's what the oh, warrant what was gotten for um obviously there's not there's another boy there I'm that was the boyfriend. Them was the only two people there right. on that scene that were vouched for him. Right. Everybody else that was on that scene, y'all haven't even questioned well, yet. And that's which I'm we gonna get. At, I'm gonna you know. get them. I'm gonna make sure if I have to yeah. catch an Uber up here with them tomorrow morning, right. <laughs> they gonna be up here to talk yeah. to y'all because I need my son free from yeah. from yeah. all this because it's 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 really senseless. But it's not senseless because this could have been avoided if y'all would have talked to y'all people. Like, nobody ain't talked to this boy. All they kept doing was asking him to stop bothering Ramari. That's not... Yeah. That wasn't doing nothing. That wasn't... Even a, a month ago, he tried to... He tried to get... He tried to bust man in the head with a Hennessy bottle. And, um... Nima. Mm -hmm. Nima Hall yeah, happened right. to be there. Yeah. And knocked his yeah. ass out because that's my kid's mm -hmm. God, brother. I got you. Know? you. And, and he just... They, he not he not James ass out. Yeah. But once again, he might is a child. You are twenty five. Why are Emmanuel is fifteen? Why are you even indulging in any type of confrontations with these kids? Right. I'm not understanding. God bless the dead. You know I ain't trying yeah. to speak well, some, ill of him, but well, some people are like that. It's you know? some stuff like I done been involved in or whatever. Where I've been a bigger person and just mm -hmm. looked at who was trying to. And walked away like yeah. these little girls, yeah. like right. literally, right. you know. And I'm just, I did the whole situation yeah. got me. I'm sorry, yeah. Lord knows, I'm sorry for what happened to this boy. Yeah. But things I know things my, could have turned out. I know my child. At the end of the day, I, I, I know my child. I'm not ever to say what somebody will and won't do. Mm -hmm. But from every and I'm not no detective or nothing, but mm -hmm. from every angle of the situation that I have gotten, he, he, you, you, you was bullying him. Mm -hmm. He asked you on multiple occasions in, in front of different people to 
leave him alone. Yeah. I had somebody on the phone. When they called me back here, mm -hmm. one of his little friends videoed me. Mm -hmm. And he was like, Mr. Lord, I will come up there right now and let mm -hmm. them know yeah. that I, he say, for my job. Yeah. Yeah. Cousin. He said he been yeah, with you. Job. He tried to make Jock take all my money yeah. one day. And Jock was and like, Jock nah, I'm not going to do that. Cousin. That's my little cousin. I got you. You see, I'm, I got so many, and I'm okay. now is the time where I'm gonna tell them like I need y'all right now, okay. for real, cause this it was senseless. Y'all didn't have yeah. to, it didn't have to end like this. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to be bullying him, and, and it didn't have to end like that. Well, it really right didn't. Here. So it really didn't. But I'm gonna get all of them together, okay. have all of them meet at my house at a certain time in the morning, and we'll be up here. Okay. So you think I'll be in JDC for more than 21 days? That's up to the judge. I have no idea. But does the judge take into account of your, what, do you have to write something for the judge to see or whatever? That was done what, yesterday when we only had two people telling us what happened. And right. there's nobody else around. So the um, judge is going to go off of that. But what I'm going to do is I will call the state attorney in the morning uh -huh. and, and explain him simply because of his age and, and the severity of the crime. Right. Um, I'll call the state attorney and say, hey, listen. This is, I did the interviews because the state attorney would, will only have that initial one too. Right. So I'll call them first thing in the morning when I get in and explain to them, listen, this is what they're stating. He's currently a JAC. Um, the warrant was for that. And this is what I found out yesterday. And what right. the state, because the state has to go to court. Right. So, um, and, and, and I just want, you know, wanted to see if they would get our side of the story before yeah. they went into court. Because I don't want them into court and going just on what they had said right. because just off common sense their their story is going to be well i understand where you're coming from and where you're coming from but let's not make it quick let's make it right right exactly okay. so if we have to if we have to be a little patient a couple days here but let's let's do it right yeah okay I want it done right. Okay. Also, but I also I, I want I don't want these co the officials in the court making decisions based on just those mm -hmm. because that's not what it is. That's not. Well, what you it know, is. they I don't have any say so over them. All I can do is report to them. So. Right, that's what I want to know. So once we get yeah, these, I'll call them in the morning. Once we get these people in here to let you know a whole nother side of what really went on, then oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, so right now, he really, it's based on your witnesses. What they gonna do? Yeah. Well, let me talk to Emmanuel because I know he's he's got to go mm -hmm. tomorrow. Yeah, he got to get this young man out of here and get things rolling. Yeah. Um. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Let me walk on back out front. Like they go off that one story. I, I just that's why I was trying to find out when is your first appearance because I told my supervisor what was going on and I already let her know that some days I'm gonna be there, some days I ain't. The, I need to be there for it. I think in the morning will be your initial appearance, right? Yeah, probably most most likely. So I want to see if I could be at your initial appearance in the morning, and I know they're not gonna give me a chance to speak or whatever, but maybe I can step to the state attorney right then and let them know. Okay, Wintergarten has a whole nother, you know what I'm saying? Another version of what happened not just this version now that's why i tell people it's so important of don't leave the scene stay there so your side of the story could be told because by you by by, by you running and fleeing the scene they was able to uh, they was able to portray you out to be just some some just murderous child that just killed somebody when they don't want to tell that their brother been bullying you messing with you hitting on you and everything for a whole month now you try to stop it then. Yeah. Not everybody want to be sad. All right. Give him a hug, kiss goodbye, and you'll I see me soon. I love you, too. You're going to be all right. You're going to be straight. Trust me. Make a left around that one, and you got you gonna go trying, with Is there a way to yes. help? Could you let him see his dad before he goes?
Alright, young yourself. man. Hmm? You can still hold yourself. We have another officer for transport. Okay, I was gonna say, because I'm done. Yeah. Alright, come on, young man. No, what is the address of the emergency? Um, I need some. I need an ambulance out here, right? I need, a, what, I need one right now. What is the address? Right here. I what is you know. the address? Ma'am. Ma'am, I don't know the address. I okay. don't know the address. Well, what do you see around you so that we can get you help? What do you see around you? Okay, but I don't have your address, so they could be going somewhere else. I don't know. There's a one guard. Okay, just stay on the phone with me. I'm out of breath now. Okay, can you and let me know? Like, excuse me, sir. I need help. I need help. Who's shot right down there? Right there. He's right there. You got to keep going. I'm trying to figure out if they have a better location. He's in the world's running. It's a world of forest. I see, I see the boy. I see the move did it. He went, he ran through that way. He's a little boy. He got red. I don't know when he's been shot, but he's down there. He's down there. Yes, he's with my boyfriend. Ma'am, ma'am, do you know the name of the person who shot? I don't know his name, but I can point him out. I know his mom. His, I know all that, ma'am. Okay, do you know where he lives or what he looks like? Yes. Okay, what does he look like? And just so you know, we do have an ambulance in the way, so while you're talking to me, like, it's not going to prevent anybody from helping him, okay? <laughs> Tell me My what the... Hurt. Don't know. And I don't know. I don't want to keep going. So, uh, okay, tell, <laughs> tell me what this person looks like so that we can get them, okay? Babe, can you, uh, uh, what's the, what's the, what's the, can you tell me what the person looks like? <laughs> what is this talking? This is talking. Ma'am. <laughs> Hold on, no, you got to let me give, give me a deep breath. Give me a deep breath. I'm right here looking at that. Okay. okay, take your time. I just want I just want you to be able to let me know who it is or what they look like. <sighs> okay. Oh my god. No. Okay. Are you able to tell me anything? I I know you're I know you're upset right now. I got to put you on three with somebody. I got, I got to call my, I got to call my mom with them. I got to call okay, my Okay, what is your name? My name is. He says. Yes, I want to see that. I don't want to see. I don't know what's going on. I don't can you? Move there. Can you? They're, they're gonna work on him, okay? And we have an ambulance coming. That we're also have an ambulance. So. Oh, my nerves. I understand. Can you tell me what the person looked like? Ma'am? Yes. Can you tell me what this person looks like so we can try to look for him, please? He got a red shirt on. He's a little boy about 15, about 14, 15, with a, with like, he's a little boy. He's a little boy. He's a little boy. He's a little boy. You said gray pants? Oh, my God. Look, hold on, ma'am. I just, you know, I got to call my mom's home. Please, in a minute. Okay. An officer should be coming to talk to you. Is anybody coming with you right now? I, I like him. I like his way. He's walking. So he's walking to the store. He ran down out of the bushes talking about what's up. And it was, four, it was up, three other boys with them. I can point them out quite up to you, too. I may not know all their names, but I can point. I can ride you to their house. Point to one of my own right on that because I told him. So it was a total of four of them all together and the one in the red shirt. Shot. There's one on. Lord Jesus, please let me be okay. Please, Lord Jesus, please let me be okay. Let him be okay. I need to call. I gotta hang up, man. I, I wanna hang up on you. I'm gonna call you back. Well, I gotta call my mom. I gotta call somebody. Okay. I gotta call somebody right now. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Seite. Fifty-three. You sure it's seven five one? Because that's five three. Sure, it's this one. phone is tracing here or something? No. So why would you think I've had here? contact with him here before. Here? Mm-hmm. For my daughter's phone? I can get my daughter for you, but he can't go in. Like, there's no reason for you to come in. He don't live here. His okay. address is not here, but hold on. Do you know where his address is? That's what we're trying to figure no, out. No, I'm not his mom. I understand that. But so, no, I don't. I'm, I'm a mother of Korean, Brandy, and Heaven. I don't know where from our okay. is headed. No need for you to wake anybody up. Do you know where she's he could be? Asleep. Do you know where he I hangs can, out? Do you know? I can get her. She knows that. She knows her. Not mine. <laughs> yes. Okay. One second. Thank you. At least three in there, adults. Just saying, I'm 14, they're saying he's not here. Hi. Hello. Do you know where Mamari hangs out or anything like that? No, mm-hmm. he doesn't hang out on the street or anything. No. So, the reason that we're here is because I was here one time and he pulled up on a bike. So, this is just the last oh, place. Yeah. This is just the last place that I know where he is. Oh, no. Because he doesn't stay with his mom, he doesn't really stay anywhere, he just kind of bounces back and forth. That's why Pretty we're here. We don't mean to bother you, we don't mean to wake you up, I'm not trying to be rude, but this is just the last place I had contact with him, that's the only reason that we're here. Oh no, uh, I haven't yeah. seen him. Okay. We're Where's just making sure. Okay. Yep. Alright, okay. thank you guys, I appreciate thank you. it. Appreciate mm-hmm. it. We're good guys, he's not here. We appreciate you. Thank 
Staying secure. Staying secure. We need FD, please. Have FD respond to the scene. I need someone to block off this street, please, so we don't have any traffic coming by this victim. You can go down this way and Edgeway. Just have him stay on that street over there, okay? Have him stay on Edgeway. Did you see what happened? Sir, did you see what happened? Did you see what happened? No? Do you know who, do you know what his name is? She's going, she going to Thank you. Yeah. found him. We're kind of all frantic right now. We're going to do the best we can. That's that turn around, turn around and go back the other way. You got one in your car? Do you have one in your car? Yeah, it's, anybody have an AED that can respond down here? <clears throat> hey, we gotta let FD in. Stay over there. Over there, guys. Then 
when you get done with that, can you put up some tape, crime scene tape? Stay back there, guys. Look out, guys. I think he's got his AD. Get your AD real quick. Can you guys go across the street saying over there for me, guys? Then if you can set up crime scene tape, that'd be great. Uh, Jackson's getting it. Okay. Yes, I see it. Anybody know who he is? Which one's that? The one that ran off that? Okay. Okay. 107. Can you meet with the complainant down there? She should be right there down there at the corner. See if we can find out a name on the subject. Black female, black shirt. That's her right there? Yeah. Okay. No, she's right here. 107, we got her down here. Hey, Jackson. Jackson. Just come across, the, just put it across the street. Yeah. Tie it up to that tree. That's fine. Then run it across like that fire hydrant and then uh, back across the street for me. Ah. Go ahead. Yes. 